Namaskar. Shiva here. I'm happy and excited to come to you today with my Monday motivation. Yesterday, we all lit lamps at 9 p.m. for nine minutes and stood in our balconies with our prayers to God to bless us and to help us sail through this present crisis. Thank you. Thank you for your participation and for your contribution to this great effort. He will save us and we shall overcome. Let me ask you a question. Do you love? Yes. Do you love? Of course you do. After all, to love is human. It's quite natural for all of us to love. We show our love towards our parents, our children, our relatives, friends, teachers and others. But the name of that love changes depending on the person we love. The love that we show towards our teachers, our gurus, is respectful love. Love with respect, Guru Prema. The one that we show towards our friends is called friendship, Sneham. And the love expressed by the parents towards the children is called affection, Vatsalyam. And the love shown towards a God is called Bhakti. Look at a cow. It draws its calf closer and licks its body with all the affection of a mother towards her child. It does not mind the dirt that exists on the body of the calf. Its love for its child is such that the cow does not even notice the impurities on its calf. It is because of its vatsalyam towards its child. Similar is the God's love towards his devotees who love him. Lord Krishna loved his parents Yashodama and Nanda Baba, his brother Balarama and his sister Subhadra, and all of his relatives, his citizens and the gopis of Gokul. He loved his friends, as we could notice it from the example or from his friendship with Sudama. His love for his devotees is that of a parent towards a child. The Vatsalya Prema. Take the case of Bhakta Prahlada, who opposed his father and rejected his orders and had his bhakti in the Lord. And Krishna loved him and protected him. Take the case of Pandavas. Were they perfect? No, they weren't. Did they have any deficiencies? They had. Did they commit any errors that blotted their personalities? They did. But Krishna loved them and gave them a sense of security always. They helped them in the final battle of Kurukshetra to regain their kingdom. But why? That's just because of their love for him and their bhakti towards him. In the entire Mahabharata, we could notice that all those who had Bhakti towards Krishna experienced his Vatsalya Prema irrespective of their age. Whether it is Bhishma or Arjuna or Kunti Devi or Draupadi they all experienced his Vatsalya Prema. That's why he is called Bhakta Vatsalaha. He shows his Vatsalya Prema towards his devotees who have Bhakti for him who love him. It is essential for you, for me and for everyone to have bhakti towards God. It is that bhakti, that respect, that consciousness and that love for God which will stand in good stead at all times and help us overcome the obstacles in life. Praise the God. Life is busy. We were all busy. Till recently. We were in a rush 
as if the earth would stop spinning if we did not do what we did. But what happened now? The earth is revolving on its own without ourselves being busy. Let us take the opportunity now. Let us introspect. Let us find time at least now to take the opportunity to remember him, to sing his melodies, to dance in his tunes and to feel the bliss of taking his name and saying it louder. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Rama Rama. Hare Hare. Hare Krishna. Having bhakti towards God is loving God. That bhakti, that love for the God will in turn earn the love of God. The words are different. We may have our own weaknesses, but with bhakti, this will soon be overcome. The blemishes will vanish. The purity will clean the impurities. And the darkness will be replaced with a shining glow. God is very kind. He loves those who love him. He is Bhakta Vatsalaha. Take time to love him. He loves you. He takes good care of you. You are awesome. See you again next Monday with another motivation. Thank you.